Well, welcome everybody. My name is Jim Roach. Uh, we're sitting in the boardroom of the Business and Industry Association of New Hampshire. These are our offices. I run the BIA, and I want to welcome you to this uh, news conference today. You know, running a statewide chamber of commerce, I hear consistently from members uh, uh, about the rising cost of health care and health insurance. It's typically a top concern, if not the top concern. So while the BIA is not in a position to endorse elevate health or, or the offerings uh, that brought these three business leaders together. I do applaud your efforts at thinking outside of the box. And uh, thank you for doing this and thank all thanks of you for being here today. Thanks for uh, allowing us to use your uh, facilities for this uh, exciting day and announcement. It's a beautiful day here in New Hampshire. And uh, uh, I'm really excited to talk about uh, Elevate Health. Um, Elevate Health is a uh, uh, three-party um, collaborative between Doug Dean, myself, which is the Elliott Health System in Dartmouth-Hitchcock, and our partner on the health plan side, uh, Harvard Pilgrim. This product is intended to elevate the options for the business community to consider as an, uh, an alternative to delivering cost-effective, high-quality health care services for their employees. Within Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, Elevate Health will be a very important option uh, for employers large and small. But we also recognize one size doesn't fit all. And some people want more choice, some people uh, are uh, satisfied with less. Some people are more price sensitive, others are not. So this is all part of creating an, a very important option, by the way, which I believe has feet that will continue to grow uh, for the people of New Hampshire. I've spoken with a number of people, uh, and, and a common question I get, so what? Uh, what is this all about? And what we're talking about here, as I see it, is an uncommon, at least in the U.S. healthcare system, coming together of two great hospitals and a health plan to sit down at one table and ask ourselves, how can we spend the premium dollar more effectively. We want to create a sustainable health system for this state. And we're going to go out on a limb creating this partnership at risk for the lives that are beginning in this, in this product. But we hope that it expands and we hope we drive everybody towards this same kind of mantra, regardless of who offers it, so that patients in the state are the ones who benefit and their families. For all too long in the healthcare system today, there's kind of been an arm wrestling going on between health plans and hospitals and physicians and trying to negotiate the highest dollar or the lowest dollar. And that has fed, uh, as Jim talks about, this volume game, if you will. How can we do more to maximize revenue? And that's gotten the healthcare system in trouble. We all know it. And we're all looking for solutions. We need to figure out how we utilize the facilities to meet the needs of the population. Mental health, drug abuse, teenage pregnancy, those are big issues. How do we use the network of hospitals together in a consolidated way to meet the needs of the population of New Hampshire? I said there were three components, the population and people. That's what I'm talking about, what their needs are. Value, not volume, and new payment models, and we're trying to espouse all three. And we're thrilled at Elliott to have the opportunity to work with Harvard Pilgrim Health Plan and Dartmouth in introducing this type of redesign of how we interact to assure the lowest possible, possible price and the highest possible quality of the state of New Hampshire. Doug and I have talked about this too. I think the, first of all, I want to compliment Eric because, you know, remember that Harvard Pilgrim has been ranked number one in satisfaction nationally in this country. So this isn't just some average health plan, and these aren't average <laughs> hospitals. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so, so, so we're starting from a pretty high point here, and uh, we know you're going to be watching. Um, I think the measures are, uh, to me, really important. Um, what how have we impacted the population in its health and wellness? Have we uh, bent the cost curve everybody talks about in healthcare? Have we really done anything to change the rising cost of healthcare for the people of New Hampshire? We want to work with like-minded people who have total 
focus on high quality, low cost care for patients that they serve. This is not to uh, embellish Dartmouth Hitchcock or the Elliott or even Harvard Pilgrim. This is to create the opportunity to change the landscape in which we today live that needs to be changed. And that the people who want to work with us have to embody and want to participate in that kind of change. Dr. Weinstein deserves a lot of credit. He, he's been in his job two years now? Is it? Almost. <laughs> and and uh, really has brought a, a very different tone to the state in terms of working with hospitals and insurance companies. And, you know, is one of the people who is very active in the national scene in terms of developing the new models and approaches for health financing. He has, uh, he's brought a wonderful influence to all of us in the health care in terms of learning how we can redesign ourselves in the state of New Hampshire to be more effective in, in the way we provide care to people. I think the point that, that Eric and Doug and I uh, want to re reaffirm is we're starting out of the blocks here. This isn't to eliminate necessarily people, but as I said, we do want to have some principles around utilization, quality, and cost. And those will be the driving things that move this forward and the participation of other partners.